she doesn't know what a shake is, I'm guessing, because this, this, this is their pant. They usually bow. Sorry! She immediately drops my hand and returns her gaze to the floor. Do turn towards the redhead. Hey, quit being rude! I'm on the phone. She shifts her gaze to him and his smile falters. Uh, I mean, will you be done soon? I'd like you to meet someone. He frowns. I need to call you back. Oh, oh. She snaps her phone shut. S so, this is Cowrie. 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 Something about that scowl seems familiar, especially that hair. Oh, no. You! <laughs> what are the odds that we run into each other again? What are you doing here? Cross the arm. This is my team. Well, actually, this is our. <laughs> Two flinches from Powery's uh, piercing glare. Your team, right. Carry on. I didn't mean it like that. I just didn't expect to see you again. She pauses and shrugs. Me neither. Shu, uh, Shu's eyes widen in surprise. Then he breaks into his usual grin and slaps me a little too forcefully on the back. Calories actually being civil towards you? Why didn't you tell me that you two were friends? Oh, we're not. We're we not. aren't. He ran into me this morning, literally. With my bike, man. With my bike. Drew raises an eyebrow at me. And you're still alive? Huh? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, she's gonna kill you, dude. She steps towards Shu, who immediately jumps back. N nothing. Uh, anyway, since you two aren't friends, uh, th this, this is Cowrie. Cowrie. I'm Marky. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Howry nods. So? He shrugs. It's not like we have much choice anyway. Sweet! You're on the team, bro! We... Thanks, I think. So you're probably wondering why we need another member. Because you're missing a member. <laughs> it's that simple. What the... No. I actually, I had it. Now that he mentioned it, kind of, yeah. Basically, Kauri and I were part of this super awesome team, but then they stopped being awesome, so we left. Or they kicked you out because you're bummed. Wow, show. For once, you didn't ramble. He, um... He phase offense. <sighs> you wound me. All my stories are brief. Remember when I told you about my one birthday where everyone showed up wearing the same clothes as me? He turns to me. Actually, it's a pretty good story. <laughs> so hey, basically, ramble. I grew up in this kind of... Uh, Mayu knows what I'm talking about. Don't encourage him. Mayu smiles faintly. Anyway, the point is, we used to be on a team, but left because the team was turning into something we didn't agree with. Except Mayu. She's a first year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she got a whole bunch of invites to other teams, but decided to join us. We're pretty lucky to have her. Cause he's so cool. How come you choose this thing? My ears shifts uncomfortably under my gaze. I trust Shell. Oh. I wait for her to say more, but she doesn't. I guess she likes Shell. Cowery taps her foot impatiently. So, now that you know all that, are you in? They're a little strange in their own way, but I think I can learn to get along with them. Even Cowery. Yeah, man. Great! Cowery checks her phone. I've spent too much time talking to you and I need to get home. I need to get home. With a short wave, she heads out. We should get going, too. My nuts. 
Yeah, me too. We'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, see ya. We wait goodbye and go our separate ways. Oh, I forgot about that dude we knocked out in the parking lot. My dude's, my dude's a beast. Um, I walk quickly towards the parking lot. Before long, the first few spots come into view. As I get closer, I can just see how far the lot extends. It must suck for those losers who had to park on the opposite side of the school. I stand where I remember parking my bike, but it's replaced with a different one. I soon scan. Oh, that guy's a dick. Fucking move my bike. I scan the first few rows of motorcycles for my bike, but can't find it anywhere. This can't be, I certainly parked it here. Between the campus... Wait, between the campus and the lot is a small building. That must be where security is. As I approach, a burly guard frowns at me. Excuse me? Yes? I parked my motorcycle here this morning, but it's no longer here. He turns towards his computer. And what's your pass number? I don't have one. <laughs> he looks at me and raises an eyebrow. You parked in a reserved space without a pass. What did you think was going to happen? I thought my bike would still be here where I left it. Well, now you know better. Your motorcycle has been impounded. My chest feels like a hand is squeezing my heart. My baby, what if they scratched it? That jerk must have called it in and gotten my bike removed once he came to. What a sore loser. You can pick it up in the morning. Why not, why not now? The guard looks at me as if I had two heads. Don't you know what time it is? Huh? I checked my phone. It's one after five. Exactly. I'm off work. That's fucked up. <laughs> but we're still talking. Not anymore. We're closed. If you have a complaint, you can submit it in the morning. It's fucked up. He ushers me out of the building and locks up. I guess I have no choice but to take I have no choice but to take the bus home today. When I made it to the bus stop, there were a handful of students already waiting. I scanned the faces on the options to recognize. Come on. Like, look, recognize this folks with the freaking uh, that's instead of a Z. No one, but I do. After what it feels like a lifetime, the bus arrives. I'm able to find a seat right away and have an uneventful ride home. As soon as I open the front door, I hear a clanging in the kitchen. Nikki must be home. Just as I predicted, she's stirring a pot surrounded by a mess of appliances. Hey, Nikki. He glances up in surprise. Hey, you're home early. Am I? It's around dinner time. What do you make? Yes. I try to peek inside the pot, but she hides it from me. No cheating. Since I pick intuitive, I can read people's thoughts and minds, and I don't know how I can pick and read her mind. They already know the answer, anyways. I won't pick that just because I already knew it's going to be something for what it is. Oh no, my nose knows. I breathe in deeply and pause to sort out the aromas lingering in the air. The dominant. Wait. The dominant scent is of tomatoes, followed by meat, beef, meat specific, but a hint of celery, basil. You're making. What that is, uh, Bulognese, Bulognes. I don't fucking know Bulognes. She last and shows me, uh, the simmering sauce in the pot. Good guess. There's no guess. The super smeller nose. I solemnly tap my nose. You're so weird. Who actually names their nose? 
So I hope you want, but you'll be singing a different tune with the super speller gets you out of danger. And why would I be in danger? I don't know, maybe your enemies are planning to playing a sneak attack against you. He laughs again. <laughs> I don't have any enemies. How do you know? Just give it time. Just give time. Just give it time. Rude. I'm very likable. He swats my arm and it turns me to laugh. I'm just glad you're the one cooking and not me. Everything you make is delicious. You really have a talent for cooking, you know? You shut up. Tries to hold back her smile, but fails. Did you go shopping after school today? I didn't know Uncle Kaito kept all these ingredients at home. Yeah, I did. Sushi yesterday was Bushy? so good, but I wanted something more hearty today, you know? Hmm. To uh, Nikki, hearty, are, hearty foods are comfort foods. Does that mean you had a bad day at school? You blinked in surprise and laughed. Of course not. It was great. I met a lot of people at the club fair they held after school. There are so many cool clubs. Did you know they have a kendo club? You definitely wouldn't find that back home. Too bad in America we don't have like these kind of clubs and like we're like required to join a club or some junk. Wait, wait, in Japanese schools and classes, you don't change classrooms. Your your teacher changes, right? Or do your teachers or does your teachers um teach all different subjects? I'm not sure. Or does the again the teacher switches from classroom to classroom? I think I'm gonna try out for their dance team though. Maybe run for student government. No, what the hell? I wouldn't even run for student government. Wow, that sounds like... Wow, it sounds like you had a pretty productive day. She quickly checks the pasta and nods. Definitely. I'm a little disappointed they don't have a cooking club, but that's okay. They offer a cooking class, which I'm taking. Soon, I will be an expert in Japanese cuisine. Maybe you can start a cooking club. Oh, maybe. Oh. I begin to set this table for three where Nikki shakes her head. Okay, I'm not gonna do that for you. Didn't you see Uncle Kaito's text? He'll be home late tonight. He'll be home tonight, okay. I haven't been checking my phone. Soon the table is set, both Nikki and I have a full portion of pasta in front of us. How was your first day? It was shit. Um, my day was kind of weird. It started out horrible. I got into a fist fight. I knocked over a freaking girl. Uh, my bike got impounded. Uh, I joined this weird ass team with that same girl I knocked over as my bike. Wait, did I say I beat some kid up with one hit? He's a big old baby. Oh, yep. My day is kind of weird. It started out horribly. I almost ran over this girl on my way to school. But being the gentleman that I am, Nikki snorts and I pointed, um, wait, what? I pointedly ignored her. I stopped to hope for her. I'm lucky that I did too because when I was looking for a team to join, the only one looking for members was her. So she let you join? Yep. Lucky you. Lucky me. That's what I said. So, it sounds like finding a team today was super important. Yeah, the qualifiers is on Friday. But that's in two days. Yeah. Wait, no, no. I know. Everyone else knew this in advance. Formed teams over the summer. Well, that's not really fair. Yeah, but it's fine. It sounds like you've had quite the day. Conversation continued and eventually lulls to a natural close. Soon both of us, soon both of our plates are polished clean. I'm so full. Who told you to be such a pig? I helped her with cleanup. I'm going to relax for a bit, then go to bed early tonight. Yeah, me too. Good night. Night. 
Okay, guys. Um, we parted. Wait, we parted ways, and I head into my room. Um, it's too early to go to bed, so I'll start the process for getting the getting a parking pass. Who knows how long it'll take before they mail me one? I'd like to get it. Wait, I like to get it sooner than it, rather than later. I log into my web link and I find the document to request a permit. It takes longer than I expected to fill all the paperwork, and it leaves me exhausted. Crawling into my bed, I close my eyes and soon fall asleep. Sun shines through my curtains and across my face. Wait, what? Uh, I keep my eyes shut and turn over in my bed, trying to force myself back to sleep. But the more I try to return to sleep, the more I will wake up a cane. What time is it? Clock flash. 6.30. I still have another half hour before my alarm goes off. I should get my back. Wait, oh, I should get back to sleep. I curl deeper into my blankets, but soon... But soon get bored. The only time I ever naturally wake up at this this early is when I have jet lag. I'm not sure if this is a blessing or a curse. I guess it may as well. I guess I may as well get up already. Wait, look. I can't read right now. I guess I may as well get ready. I quickly change into my uniform and head downstairs. Ooh, an empty kitchen. It's weird being the first one out. Usually Nikki is doing her thing in the kitchen. I'll catch up on some reading while waiting for her. She should be up soon anyway. I pull up the news app on my phone. The front page doesn't have anything too interesting. I until I spot an article on what is it? All the Wind Enterprises. All the Enterprise has officially announced their intention to sponsor an up and coming team in the coming war games. The rapidly expanding R and D company is gaining a lot of attention in the field of Dino Robotics. And they're putting pressure on establishing innovators such as Vector Industries and Paragon Weaponry. Much of their success can be attributed to CEO Donnie Rose. So there's some dude like revving down the street um, in on a freaking motorcycle. Um, who was a top graduate and pilot in the pilot program at Ace Academy and a visionary when it comes to modern and functional designs for gear. Hmm, I don't think I've ever heard of these guys before. It must be a local company who hasn't quite expanded to the states yet. Sounds like they're making a name for themselves though. The time on my phone reads 6 at 57. I listen to for any sign of life upstairs, but the house is still. I better grab something to eat before I need to go. It doesn't seem like Nikki is coming down anytime soon. I flash my my, my phone flashes to the next article. A headline on Dashu. That should be good. I push the button shaped like a film projector on the bottom of the page and the text uh, projects on the nearest surface. Then I place my phone in a dock on the table. So the flash shines, wait, so the text shines on the kitchen table. I grab a couple of slices of bread and stick them in the toaster. As I wait for my toast to finish, I sit uh, at the table and read the article. Can't read that. Um, Kanaku, Kanaku, 
Dishtaru. Kanaku Dishtaru, CEO of Dashu, made an unscheduled appearance at the memorial service yesterday for. What is it? Yuda? Yudai Misaki? Yuda Misaki? I don't know. Uh, a year ago, the community was in shock by the unexpected death of Ace Academy's most promising pilot. Pretty soon that pilot to meet me. The family was honored was honored that the mighty mogul. I was about to say mongrel, but it's mogul. I'm a media mogul. We the best. Take uh, the time to show his respects for their son and co currently postpone the unveiling of Dashu's new line of energy drinks. The introduction has been re uh, scheduled. What are you reading? Take place next week, and this girl needs to get out of my face. Should I yell or say nothing? Nothing. I distinctly turn off the projection. He tries to peek over my shoulder, but I darken the screen. The last thing I need so early in the morning is Nikki making fun of me for reading the news. Why are you being so weird? I'm not. Then why won't you show me? It's not interesting. Trust me, you won't like it. <laughs> Oh, oh, what? Did I just catch you watching hentai? Uh, <laughs> no. N no! This is the kitchen? We eat here? Oh, this girl's fucking weird. It's not hentai. Look! I turn on back my. Okay. For those who don't know, hentai is. Japanese animated. In. Yep. I turn back on my phone to try to show the article. She covers her eyes. Stop! I don't want to see it. <laughs> look, it's that anti. Just look. I shove my phone in her face. She twists away from me. No! <laughs> uh, damn it! Look. She doesn't close her eyes fast enough to catch the peak of my article. She's, then she ceases her struggle and begins to laugh in bed. Huh? I knew it wasn't hentai, you dummy. No, you thought it was. Then why? Is that reaction? Priceless! She continues to laugh. She, she, continues, uh, she continues laughing as she passes, heads past me. Little sisters. Nikki glances at my toast, which had popped up while we were talking. Your toast is burned. What? I leap out of my chair and stand beside her. It's not burned. She flips over to reveal a... Don't touch my food, man. She flips over to reveal a dark side of charcoal. Aww. You're so hopeless. How did you survive in college without me? I ate at the cafeteria, Indian cafe. That's what I'm gonna do. That <laughs> I explains it. Only two things I know how to make: eggs, bacon. What else? Toast, spaghetti. I can cook stuff in the oven, but there's no oven in college. You, you can only use a microwave, so yeah. Oh, this big day, we can only have mini fridges and stuff like that. Especially in the first year, you have to stay in a, like a school-owned housing, I think. He throws away the toast, pulls out two yogurts from the fridge. Well, since you botched breakfast, we'll have to make do with a quick snack if you don't want to be late. I accept the yogurt he hands to me, and we both finish them in record time. Then we grab our things and head out the door. Are you able to give me a ride today? The bus yesterday was so crowded. Yo, you, you wanna know something? I, I, I looked a bit sheepish. Sorry, Nikki, my bike is still at school. Why? Well, because it was impounded. <laughs> Nikki raised an eyebrow. What did you do? 
I'm not going to tell her about the fight, so I'll think of a quick excuse. I just parked in the wrong place, nothing big. I'll get my bike back today. Office was closed. Um, by the time I try to grab it, Nikki snorts. Why am I not surprised you managed to get in trouble on your first day? Oh, you don't know the half of it. Only if she knew. Yeah. Hey, you know me. Okay. I guess I'll see you tonight then. He waves and heads towards the bus stop. I do the same. At least, wait, did, don't we, oh no, no, we go to opposite bus stops, I guess. Uh, at least it's a nice day to be waiting for the bus. The stop where is a bit crowded. I lean up against the shelter as I wait. The bus squeals to a halt in front of me only after a few minutes of my arrival. Arrival. I follow the passengers on scan my ID and search the rows for a free seat. I settled into uh, the first seat I find and grumbled as a large man sits down beside me crush me against the window. I can already imagine how enjoyable this ride will be. Luckily, it. Oh my gosh! God, luckily, um, it is no long ride. I'm at school before I can complain too much. Can I? Um, I pull up the schedule on my phone and check my first class gear arsenal 201. This building isn't too far away either. As soon as I reach the building. Wait, wait, the class is, wait, what, what did it say? I soon reached the building, okay. The classroom is about half the size of the lecture hall for my piloting 101 class. For some reason, this is a comfort to me, probably because it reminds me of the classes at DINY. It's hard for me to read the abbreviation, so I mean it's not hard, it's just like it's extra thought, because each of those to me is a word, really. I take a seat near the back of the room just as the professor enters. Good morning, class. Welcome to Gear Arsenal 201. I'm sure you're all tired of hearing the same welcome spiel, so I won't even bother with it. Instead, we're going to drive straight into the material. Question. Who can name one of the leading companies in gear weapon manufacturing? Yeah, I don't remember. What is it? All win enterprises? Question. Who? Fucking what? Paragon weaponry? Vector Industries! Sorry, incorrect. Paragon weaponry? Very good. Oh, I was a guess because I don't remember what I was reading on that newspaper. Why isn't it Vector? Vector Why deals with thrusting and maneuverability, whereas Paragon deals with weaponry. Hence the name Paragon Weaponry. Their recent area of study has shown that. He goes on in detail about Paragon Weaponry R&D and the future of beam weaponry for the remainder of class. That's all the time we have for today. You'll find this week's readings and assignments on your web link. Have a good day. Students scramble to collect their things before hurrying out of the classroom. I think I'll go back to the hangar. This class has inspired me to go have a proper look at my gear. I take the path through the pilot lounge and follow the tunnels until I reach my gear. Ah, oh, there it is, my baby. Pulling down the ladder beside my dock station, I climb on top of I climb up to the top. Wait, I climb up to the top, which is uh, about level with the chest section of my robot. So about right here. Oh yeah, now it is like right around the chest section, chest head. Um, hear that dude? That was like some freaking transformer, freaking shuddering shit, like boom. I unlocked the chest cavity with. 
with a mechanical roar it splits open separating the panels revealing the lower seat. I easily hop in the seat it's, wait, into the seat and breathe in the comfortable scent of metal and plastic it faintly reminds me of new car smell. Uh, once I'm settled, I triggered the closing sequence as the portion panels return. As the portion panels return, my seat scoops me further into my gear until I nestled, until I nestled in the darkness of the cockpit. Initializing. I try to initiate the boot up sequence. The cockpit glows a faint red that flickers to life and I can't help but smile at the familiarity of it all. I, I, the bright glow of its panels illuminated the interior until there wasn't, wait, until there isn't a trace of a shadow left. Statistics blink around me in a series of rapid numbers and diagrams. Whoa. Gear initialization sequencing Eagle. complete. Let me get a quick pick. Yep, okay. The familiar voice of my gear feels like a warm welcome from an old friend. Eagle, please run a comprehensive check. System in progress. Nothing to do now, but wait. Lights among... Wait, the, the lights along my display... Pulse with... Changing colors as the check progresses. It flows through warm colors, red, orange, yellow, before illuminating the cockpit, the bright green. All system functions normal. Ah, it's blue. If you got the screen, dude, it's blue. Unless I'm colorblind. Um, Unknown docking station detected. Register the current dock as home station. Completed. Completed. Recommendation. Please update system calibration configuration. Ooh, 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 I just pinched the nerve in my back. Um, this is recommended at all times. Whenever we change locations, the Eagle will request a recalibration of the system. Even the slightest difference in air pressure can tr trigger a, a, an inaccuracy. At least the process is easy. All I have to do is make sure uh, I follow sequential number order so the ego can achieve necessary internal calculations all right start the process Calibre oops sorry as i i give a, uh, i give it a few minutes as the ego automatically adjusts itself okay dot 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 dots calibration successful we perfect everything seems to be in order Oh, another transformer. Wham. After one last look, I shut down the gear, unlock the chest cavity again. I hop out, the panel slide back in place until I hear a faint click of unlocking. As I turn towards the elevator, I spot Chu waving at me. I nimbly make my way down and stand beside him. 